All right, welcome back to Exam Prep Solutions. In this video, we're going to find the centroid of the area about the x-axis in this specific problem. If you're having problems solving FE exam problems, just go to the description down below. We have a free guide called The Five Steps to Solving FE Any FE Exam Problem. Just click the link below. You'll get that guide for free. It's a step-by-step -step process to solving any FE exam problem. Difficult, easy, in your ballpark, not in your ballpark. It'll be great for you. But anyways, let's jump into the problem. So find the centroid area about the x-axis as seen below. So you always want to have a process when solving these problems. You want to read the problem clearly, find out what has been given to us, what we need to find, and what equations we're going to use to solve for the specific problem. For the, so for the given, we have the areas of these sections. Um, and then using that, we're going to be able to find the centroid of this area. If we go to the FE reference manual, we look at centroids and moments of inertia. To find the centroid with respect to the x, okay, it gives us the equation right here. So if we go right here, we can see that's the sum of x dA over a is going to help us find the centroid. So over the total area. And what that's telling us is, is it wants the centroid of the specific shape. So we have two shapes here. We have shape 1 and we have shape 2. We want the centroid of that shape with respect to the origin here, and we're going to multiply that by that section's area. That'll give us the top part of this equation, and then we're going to divide it by the total area of the entire section. So I'll, so I'll show you here. Here's the solution to the problem. So we'll take this first area, for example. The centroid of this area with respect to the origin is going to be 5 inches from the centroid. So we're going to go 5 here. Then we're going to multiply that by the section area, which is a 10 by 10 block. So we're going to go 10 by 10 here. Now we're going to add in this section 2, this triangular section, which its, dis its centroid is going to be one third from the base here, plus that 10 inches from the origin. So 10, and then one third of 10, so 3.33 approximately. So we're going to say it's 13.33 here. Multiply that by the area of this triangle. We know the triangle area of a triangle is one half base times height. The base is 10 and the height is 10 in this case. So that's going to be the top part of our equation. The bottom part of our equation is just the area summed. So we have that 10 by 10 rectangle plus the triangle here, one half base times height, one half 10 times 10 here. Okay. So now we have everything entered in. Remember, I went to this equation, solving for centroids, sum of x dA over a, which just means summing the centroid of that specific area with respect to the x-axis, multiplied by the area, and then divided by the total areas. And now we have everything we need to solve this problem. So if we go 10 times 10 times 5, it's going to give us 500 here. And I'll just write these out as we go. 500 plus... It's always good to do your calculations in small chunks so you don't make, make any mistakes here. Times 1 half times 10 times 10. That equals 666.5. I'm just going to say 667 over the entire area, which is just going to be 100 plus 50. So 150 in the bottom here. And that will give us a final answer of... Final answer of 7.78 inches. So that gave us the final answer of 7.78 inches here. And we can see that as answer B over here. So we're going to select answer B is our answer. So the centroid of this entire shape, the X, it's going to be located about here, which makes sense for the area 7.78 inches from that origin. So that is how to find the center of the area about the x-axis. Like I said, you can download our free guide in the description down below how to solve any FE problem, and we'll see you guys next time.